Did you ever hear of the saying, forgiving is receiving? Well, today's episode is going to be all about that, forgiving makeup. <laughs> That's right. Hello and welcome back. My name is Milana and today's video is going to be all about forgiving makeup day to night makeup looks. Like I said, these makeup looks are super easy. They're very forgiving. And the best part is you don't have to spend too much time fussing over your makeup because obviously we want to spend the time with our family and friends, especially during the holiday season. So I'm bringing you guys two looks with different lip options for you guys to choose from. Let's begin. Step one for a long lasting makeup, I'm going to apply some primer. This is by Too Faced. This is their hangover primer and it's great because it makes my makeup last all day long and it makes it look very beautiful and flawless. And it keeps my face nicely hydrated throughout the day. For the foundation, you wanna go for something that is long lasting because throughout the day, you don't wanna be touching up your makeup too much. So for the foundation, I chose the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and it is a very long lasting foundation. And I'm using the shades 102 and 103 mixed together. I'm just taking my black beauty sponge. I love this one, it's the Aesthetica. I purchased it off of Amazon and it's vegan and it's just, I actually prefer this over my regular beauty blender. I have the black version as well and I like this one a lot better. It's, I don't know, it's softer but it's dense at the same time. And this foundation is a little bit thicker so I'm, I like to apply it using a beauty sponge. For concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I know it's been such a huge rage and it is amazing. It does live up to its hype and it's very long lasting. It doesn't crease, it doesn't smudge. It is amazing. This concealer is bomb. It is so bomb. To set my concealer, I'm gonna take the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Micro Powder in translucent and just set my makeup or concealer. I don't know, I've never really been into baking. What about you guys? It doesn't look good on my skin. I feel like it really ages it. I feel like I'm the only one that feels that way. <laughs> it just smells so good, I wanna eat it. it smells like chocolate. <sighs> so I'm taking the 217 MAC brush and I'm gonna take this shade Flower Child. It's kind of like this skin tone shade, my skin tone shade, it's very light. And I did apply some concealer to my eyelids just to cancel out any redness or any veins. And I'm just gonna set it with this eyeshadow. You know what? I'm actually gonna do my eyebrows first. And I'm using eyebrow pomade. This is just to help the eyeshadow, not the eyeshadow, the eyebrow pencil kind of cling onto my brows. And I'll be using the It Cosmetics Brow Power in the shade Universal Taupe. And this pencil, it kind of just adjusts to your hair color and it just matches with anybody's brows. It is amazing. To make my brows a little bit more hairy, I've talked about this product. It's by Milani, their Tinted Brow Gel. And it has like these really, really tiny fibers within the gel. And it just gives my brows like this natural hairy look, which I'm always going for. I don't know, I feel like it gives me a more youthful look to my eyes. Going back to the eyeshadow, and I'm using the MAC 224 blending brush. So I'm taking Sweetheart and Smarty Pants, and I'm gonna run it right along the crease and slightly above it. So I'm taking that right in the outer corner majority of the shade, or both of the shades. I'm doing like very, very small circular motions. And to make my eyes appear a little bit bigger and wider since they're a little bit close set, I like to bring the eyeshadow just a little bit outwards towards the end of my eyebrow, just to make sure it kind of elongates the eyes and then opens them up at the same time. Next, I'm gonna take the Jet Setter on 217 MAC brush. This is a smaller blending brush, a little bit more precise. So I'm gonna take that right in the crease, but trying to keep it in the crease, not going above it. For the eyeliner, I'm gonna use the NYX Dark Brown pencil and this one lasts all day long and i'm just gonna very lightly gently line my top eyeliner <laughs> my eyeliner <laughs> my top eyelash and but i'm not gonna flick it out too much just because i want it to be a little bit more subtle for the daytime you don't have to be too perfect with this because we're gonna smudge it out take a tiny blending or smudge brush this is by tarte and i'm gonna pick up rocker it's this beautiful metallic it's kind of this gray brown shade just pick it up a little bit I'm gonna smudge out the eyeliner. To smoke out the lower lash line just a little bit since the top is smoky, the eyeliner is smoked out, we're gonna take Smarty Pants, Sweetheart, and a little bit of Jet Setter. Just kind of make a concoction for your lower lash line. I got a question. Who made, who made up those names? 
Jet Setter, Smarty Pants, Sweetheart. All the names are so interesting. <laughs> Tart. Tart came up with it. And I'm using the Morphe E36 blending or smudge brush. I love this one for the lower lash line. It's so soft and it blends like a dream. For the mascara, I'm taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Feline Mascara. And I love that the wand is green. It's so pretty. And this is why I love this mascara. One coat and it looks like I'm wearing falsies on my eyelashes. It gives me volume and length. Love this. Best thing is, it's inexpensive. Don't forget your lower lash line. For the inner corner highlight, I'm gonna do something different and I'm gonna take the Color Tattoo by Maybelline in the shade Gilded Rose. And I'm gonna take some of this on the back of my hand. This color is so pretty. And I'm gonna take my inner corner, where's my pencil? Here it is, by Sigma, the inner corner E46. Love this brush, it's amazing for inner corner highlight. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of this because it's super pigmented and just apply it right in the inner corner. For the blush, I'm taking this beautiful NYX big blush in the shade Chiffon. And this is just a gorgeous all day neutral blush that just goes with everything that I do. And I love it. It just gives a beautiful flush of color to my cheeks. And I'm using the Sonia Kashuk number 29 blush brush. Love this, love this. For the bronzer, I'm taking the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. And this bronzer is amazing. I love it, especially for the winter time when I face need something. And this is the Sonia Kashuk. Oh, it rubbed off on me. But I'll have it linked down below. I don't know the number, but this is just, I think either blush or bronzer, something like that. And this bronzer lasts all day long. For the cheek highlight, I'm gonna keep it slightly subtle and I'm taking the new Milani Spotlight in the shade 02 Candlelight. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills. 823 face brush and I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's just beautiful kind of like this, this beautiful like champagne highlight. Look how natural it looks. So pretty. So to finish off this look, we're gonna move on to the lips and I'm gonna give you two options since I know a lot of people, they don't like to wear really bold colors that will kind of smear all over the place, especially when you're eating and you don't wanna touch up too much during the day. But I love a bold lip during the day. That's just what I like but I'm gonna give you two options. And these are really great because they last a very long time because they have this like top coat. And this is by Rimmel. And the first one I'm gonna show you is the Provocalypse 16 hour. And this is a shade, where are you? 730, make your move. That's the shade. <laughs> this is just a beautiful nude. It has like a brown undertone to it. It's just so nice. To set my makeup, I'm gonna use the Milani Make It Last 16 hour setting spray. Mm, and it smells so good too. So the second option is this beautiful red in the shade 500 Kiss Me You Fool. The same Provocalypse by Rimmel and this is just a gorgeous color. I love a good red. Mm -hmm. mm. And here's the second option for the lip, a bright red color. It's very festive and it looks really nice, especially when you have your eyes a little bit more subtle. And these lip colors, they last all day long. They're very inexpensive. They have a great range of colors. So if you're in a lookout for a new lipstick that is very long wear lasting and is actually comfortable on your lips, check these out. They're amazing, really amazing. Look at that. Do you see red? I don't. So the daytime look is obviously a lot more simpler, a little bit more natural and it's not as bold, but when the nighttime comes, I like to pull out all the stops. Not all of them, but a lot of them. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring out my falsies. I'm gonna do for the eyeliner a little bit of a flick and smoke it out even more. And my lips make them even more bold. I know, even more bold than this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go back to the same eyeliner, the brown NYX eyeliner, and we're gonna create a flick to the eyes. Just look at the subtle difference that it makes already. Just makes your eyes a little bit more sexy and bold. Since the eyeshadow is already smoked out from the previous look, I'm gonna take a little bit more of the rocker eyeshadow. This is the metallic shade. Back in the Tarte eyeliner pencil and I'm gonna smoke it out just a little bit more. Once you're done with your eyeliner, you can actually skip the falsies. Maybe just add one more coat of mascara if you're not really into false, false lashes. But I am and I'm using the uh, Eyelure Luxe eyelashes. The name of the eyelashes is Gilded. These are really dramatic, but they're super fluffy and they're just gorgeous. So like I mentioned, I'm gonna add a little bit more bronzer to my cheeks just to define them a little bit more. And I'm taking the same bronzer by Hourglass 
and the same brush by Sonia Kashuk. And of course, we can't forget the highlight. And there we have it for the nighttime look. It's a lot more dramatic and bold and definitely a lot more fun in my opinion. You can keep the same red lip or the nude lip that you had throughout the day, or you can go even more bold like I will show you right now. I'm gonna take this Milani Amore Met Lip Cream in the shade Magnificent 42. Oh, such a pretty color. Can we just take a moment and appreciate how beautiful this lip color is? So gorgeous. Just for fun, I'm actually gonna place the red on top. I actually like this better. I think it's pretty. It's very pretty. So there you have it, my day to nighttime makeup look. They're very forgiving and they're very fast and simple. And I think my favorite look or what I'm gonna wear for Christmas myself is going to be the very simple look, maybe not as dramatic eyelashes. I have another pair that I'm not, I'm gonna wear, but I think these eyelashes I'm gonna wear for like New Year, something a little bit more dramatic. And for the lip, I'm probably gonna wear the red lip throughout the day because I just love a good red lip. And maybe put this right on top, the darker red, just to give a more dramatic, bold punch towards the evening. Let me know which look was your favorite and what you're actually going to wear yourself for makeup on Christmas or New Year's, whatever holiday you're celebrating. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video. Thumbs it up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Milana and welcome to my channel, Milaboo. But for now, I will see you guys in the next video. I love you all very much. Bye.